The type of art that I do is, is kind of all over the map. What makes it unique, I guess, is that there is a, a lot of variety in, in the type of work that I do. You know, if something catches my eye, I, I go off on a tangent and, and attack it, kind of scratching all of those different itches of, of what's interesting or fun or uh, that type of thing. My name is Ken Womack, and I'm originally from Houston, Texas. I've been painting and drawing and sculpting my whole life. Uh, when I went to the University of Texas, uh, I got a Bachelor of, of Fine Arts uh, degree there. So, you know, I did study fine arts. Later, uh, I, I thought I was going to be an illustrator, but I somehow entered, entered the advertising industry and stayed there for, you know, 30 plus years as an art director and a creative director. Uh, but always kept sculpting and painting. So, you know, art has always been a part of my life. Recently, I've been doing a lot of work in um, like larger sculptural types of pieces that are made out of uh, plywood and foam and uh, electronics. Uh, so I'm trying to create pieces that are experiential and interesting and uh, a giant six-foot boom box. But I'm also working in monumental sculpture concepts, so I've got a couple of uh, maybe uh, six different concepts on my website uh, doing that, but also uh, I paint, uh, as you can see, some of the, the pieces around here and figurative sculptures. <laughs> Almost everything you can imagine I'm, I'm doing. Uh, what inspires me is just about everything. You know, I, I love to go to galleries and museums. And so, you know, I'm looking at inspiration in every artist that I see, but also just in life. You know, I, I will, you know, as I watch TV or I look at magazines or I hear a song, it, it spurs an idea in my head. And, uh, you know, then I will take that and turn it into some kind of art. One of the things that I find is consistent about my work and the workflow of every project is, it starts out with excitement and enthusiasm for the job. And there's always this point in the process where the painting just starts to suck. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm a terrible artist. <laughs> I've forgotten how to paint. So there's an ugly duckling phase that, goes, that I go through with every single painting. And I always figure out a way you know, out of that mess. When you reach those points where you've got a block or you just don't feel inspired, keep pushing through. What is a misnomer about artists or misconception? You know, I think a lot of people think that artists are just goofy and, you know, they eat paste and they're uh, irresponsible and they sleep till noon. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, maybe some are like that, but I'm, I'm a businessman. I've owned my own business for 20 years, uh, you know, successful advertising agency. And so what comes with that is a real sense of responsibility and, and work ethic. And, you know, so I apply that to, in my art life as well. I may have a different take on the, the role of the artist. I almost feel like artists have an obligation to share their, their, gift or passion or whatever with the world because things like art and literature have a very transformative power to turn the negative trends or thought processes and you know you can actually create joy with your art one of my long-term goals it's a it's a short medium and long-term goal is to develop uh, larger scale, uh, what I refer to as monumental sculptures, and, and most people are familiar with the Bean in Chicago, that type of thing. The, the type of sculpture that um, captures a wide audience and, and really fires the imagination. And, uh, so I have uh, about 10 different projects that are that I'm working on right now. One of the ones that I think is super fun is, is I'm collaborating with John Guerin, who's a local artist. He lives out in Anna, Texas, and, and he builds big, crazy, weird things as well. And we started working on a supersized Polaroid camera that has TV that sticks out in the front. When you're standing in front of this piece, you'll be able to look at it, and it's a you know a big giant camera, and then the the Polaroid print, the part that sticks out the bottom, will be a TV screen where you'll be able to actually see yourself. The types of things that we're developing have this um, I don't know kind of experiential, transformative type of vibe, and so that's what I'm I'm really excited about now. What I love most about um, life as an artist is I love the fact that I get to do what I. I love to do, and not everybody gets to do that. As a creative person, it makes you uh, feel joyful. I'm fairly easy to find. I'm Ken Womack, 
And that's my handle on Facebook. That's my handle on Instagram. That's my website. I'm the only Ken Womack making art in the, on the planet. And so that's where you can find me.